How's everybody doing? This is Mr. Bonon, and I'm going to show you how to log in to Mathagon, but multiplication by heart. If you haven't been able to do so already, I know it might be a little bit confusing. And there's some information you need of your student, especially their student ID with their like email. I'll get into that in a little bit. So the website is mathagon.org backslash multiply. And it will come up like this. If you go to mathagon.org, let's say I go to the regular page, and then there is multiplication flashcards, space repetition. Click on that. This is what it will look like. Your children should be doing this every single day. So by the end of third grade, they're really fluent in multiplication because we use our language, our words every single day. Most kids read something every day. Not a lot of kids do math every day. So we need to build that up, build that muscle up. On the top right corner, there's an icon with a little face. You click on that and you click sign in. We in DCPS have Microsoft, so you're going to click on Microsoft. This is where it might get a little bit tricky. I'm trying to sign you in. No, I don't need to get signed in yet. Sign in. All right. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Mathagon. Um, multiplication by heart. I'm going to sign in. Click on Microsoft. Remember, top right corner. Here we go. So it'll say this. And what you need is your student ID number. So I'm going to use this one as an example. I won't say whose name it is. Now, I know it's a long email address, but I'll zoom in. It's their student ID number at students.k12.dc.us. So it's their student ID number, and this is their entire email address. So you got to make sure they put at students.k12.dc.us. All right, click next. After that, you're putting in their six-digit birthday. So whenever they were born, let's say I was born July 23rd, 2014, I'll put 07. Two, three, fourteen. So let me put that in zero. All right. Uh, you should probably stay signed in. So I would. You should click yes on this pops up. So you don't have to keep on signing in and in and in. Now you're signed in. Once you click on the top. Click on that top part. Uh, it should bring, click on the student dashboard. And then on the right side, it's going to say teachers and parents. Now, this student is already logged into the class that I have set up. But for, it's important to be in the class that I have set up. So then I can see on my end how many times students are actually on the website and how many problems they've gone through. I'm serious, students who do this every single day do very well in multiplication, which is big in third grade and is big for the rest of their math life because uh, multiplication is connected to so many things. Division, distributive property, equivalent fractions, looking at different graphs and data. So please, I'm not a beggar. This is to help out your children. So get them on it every day. It's less than five minutes. And then over here in the corner, like I'm saying, teachers and parents, you can add a new code. And this is where you would put the code. The code for my class this year is I A A R 149A. And then click join class. And then he's already in this class. So that's all you do. 
need to go back to multiplication by heart, click on activities, go down, multiplication by heart, and press play. All right. I hope that was helpful. This is how to sign into multiplication by heart, mathagon.org, and how to sign in and also sign into the class that I made. Peace.